What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I finally got the new wicker bill, or sorry, duck bill for the dot charger uh, from the company Shirokai. And today I'm gonna be trying to test it up to the car, see how it fits, uh, take off the old wicker bill, and basically see if there's any way to mount this spoiler other than riveting it into the trunk. I really don't wanna drill into the trunk just because I'm not sure what the future holds for this car. Don't know if I wanna sell it yet or keep it, but um, just to be safe, I don't want to rivet it into the trunk because then I don't want to have to buy a new trunk, but we'll see. This is the new spoiler. As of right now, it's just in this black plastic. Um, comes with these little rivet areas right here that you're supposed to rivet into. I think there's a total of 20 rivets or something like that. 24 actually. So I really don't want to drill 24 times into the trunk. And the sad part is that the whole inside of the wing or spoiler is empty, so there's no way to actually like drill into this piece. Um, so I basically want to fit this onto the car and see if there's any way I can kind of DIY a mounting point into the spoiler so that um, I can use the stock holes that are currently in the trunk and get this thing on. Before I do that, the car is sitting outside, so I'm gonna turn it around real quick bring it up so I'm not working out in the sun and just dying of sweat like I usually do. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. The first thing we gotta do is open up the trunk, get this wicker bill off, and I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty easy, you just gotta get this off I'll get these little tiny plastic screws off and then pull this out and I'm pretty sure there's a few like screws that just go up into the trunk that I need to loosen up and that whole shit thing should pop off I think the only difficult part is it has double-sided tape or weather stripping that's connected to the car so I need to get that all off and then we'll go ahead and mount this on so it's gonna look something like that my guess So I got the liner off the trunk, got that sitting there, and it looks like all that you really need to get the, the spoiler off are these two bolts. I'm not seeing anything else. Uh, these ones right here are for the tail lights, and then obviously there's some clips that I'm seeing in that back corner that I guess you just pull out and you should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off, and luckily since it's only two bolts, if since this piece isn't painted today, I'm not gonna actually install it. I'm just gonna test fit it on, see how it looks, and then see if there's any way I can bootleg a mounting point for that new spoiler. So I'm over here yanking on this spoiler, trying to get it off because I thought these were the only two screws, and turns out that there's like a little side cap that fits right here that you also gotta take off. And once you get that off, then there's these little bolts right here that you gotta take out before the spoiler comes off. So I just spent 15 minutes yanking on it, very cautiously though, so I didn't break anything. But now I know. So let me get those off and then we can take the spoiler off. So it looks like we got everything loosened up. I know there's a few plastic clips in here that you also gotta be kind of cautious of. There's pieces of double-sided tape in there too. Oh my god. Come on, man. Broke one clip. So, I got the spoiler off and it's super dirty down here. Um, I actually broke this clip right here. This is not supposed to stay in, uh, but it broke off the actual spoiler. There was some double-sided tape in here, keeping this all together. And then these are the stock mounting holes, right here, right here. And um, 
this is actually where my paint chip because of that wicker bill. So basically what was happening was this piece right here was kind of grinding against my paint and eventually because of uh, I guess the wind pushing against it, it would kind of push down against the paint and it slowly kind of chipped it away. The guy, the guy who actually sold me the spoiler actually told me that that was a risk of happening and I guess I just put the wicker bill too close to the paint and I guess that abrasion over time just kind of ripped it away, but it's fine. Um, Hopefully this new one just covers it up and we should be good. But let me go ahead and clean this all up so that we can start kind of test fitting over the new spoiler and see how it looks. So the same thing that happened over here, you could tell is happening right here along the edge as well. So hopefully that this doesn't go all the way through and get to bare metal like this one did. That would be bad, but you can, you can clearly tell the difference in where the sun has been hitting and where the sun hasn't been hitting. It's got a distinct line that goes all the way across. This is gonna be a pain to take off. I think I'm just gonna leave it on here uh, just because it would probably be easier to do so. Now, this is the moment of truth. Go ahead and try to put the spoiler on and see how it looks. Hopefully it looks good. So this is how it's looking so far. Fitment isn't too bad. Um, the trunk's not fully closed, so ignore this gap right here. But uh, Fitment in terms of the actual spoiler isn't too bad. On top, it looks good as well. On the bottom, the only thing I'm noticing is that camera is gonna have to be moved, which I don't really know how I'm gonna do. I might have to cut out this portion right here so that we can keep this. I don't wanna get rid of this at all. And then, on this side, um, fitment looks fine as well. So, I guess the main question now is how do I mount this without drilling into the trunk? So, I'm gonna open up the trunk, see if any of the stock holes can be utilized, and see how it goes from there. So, overall, it's not gonna look like we're gonna be able to use the stock mounting holes for anything. Um, you're not gonna be able to bolt through it. The material is way too thin. And since the inside is kind of hollow, there's nowhere for any rivets to sit or anything like that, so I'm kind of out of luck. I think at this point, what I am gonna do is just gonna 3M tape the entire thing to the trunk and just hope it doesn't fly off on the highway or something, or something like that. Um, in terms of this little trunk piece, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, put some tape around the actual rear camera, get the actual size and shape of it, and then put it onto the actual spoiler and then try to cut it out as best as possible. I made two tiny marks right there. And now you have this piece. So now this is the exact size of the camera. So now I have a rough, rough estimate of how much I have to cut out of this piece. Um, I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch away from the actual tape line, cut around there, so that way the camera can actually sit flush on top of the spoiler and not uh, expose any of the white around it. Now final result, we got a little piece cut out. So now if I did it right, this should line up pretty well with the, yep, just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is loosen up the camera and put it on top of this piece uh, and see if it flush, sits flush enough where um, it looks OEM basically. So got the camera bezel off, just pulled that off, got the actual camera sitting in here. 
So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is put the spoiler on, see if this can fit on top, and see if we can clamp it back down um, the way that it was. So, tried pushing this back into the hole where how it was supposed to be, and it's not sitting flush right now, obviously, because the rest of the spoiler keeps moving around, uh, but I think it is gonna work like this. And with this being tightened down, I'm pretty sure that it'll be enough to hold the spoiler on its own. Obviously, I'm still gonna 3M tape it all the way around here, but I don't wanna do too much just yet uh, because obviously this piece isn't painted. Come back here. So I'm just gonna put that down with the rest of the parts, but obviously this piece isn't painted yet. I still wanna get it sent over to paint. Down. So for the time being, do I wanna run it like this? So I think I'm just gonna throw everything back on how it was just pretty loose. I think I'm just gonna use this mounting hole and this mounting hole to put that stock wing back on and hopefully get this painted pretty soon. And then if anyone has an idea on how to cover this up for the time being, please let me know down in comments. Uh, I'm very curious because obviously I don't want the car to start rusting and things like that. Um, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna throw on some tape over it and hopefully that keeps it um, from corroding or getting any worse. I know I didn't get to painting the spoiler and fully installing it on the, on the car. I know you guys would like to see that, but I'm gonna get it painted very soon. I was just very excited and wanted to see how it looks on the car. It looks very different. It's less aggressive than the wicker bill, but I think I like it because of its sleekness and the fact that no one else has it. So I'm gonna go send this to paint hopefully this week or next week. And within, I guess the next month, you guys should see a final install of the Shirokai uh, duck bill. So stay tuned, subscribe down below. You stay up to date with the Dodge Charger build as well as the Corvette build. If you haven't seen the last video, I think it came out great. So go and go ahead and watch that. There's actually a full detail of the Corvette right here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.